So you download Easy Effects, you double click the DRFX, it opened up Fusion, you hit install. You're gonna find it under Toolbox. You can just search Easy. You're gonna grab the effect, drop it on whatever you wanna animate. You have three tabs, Motion, Highlight, and Effects. So right under your tabs, you have the Master FX. You can move and adjust your PNG, just like a transform node inside Fusion. Below that, you have your three main ways to animate, size, spin, and angle. You can just click. There you go. Under each tab, you have the same basic controls. You have your in and out. So basically, if you want it to animate in but not out, you uncheck out and the PNG won't move at the end of the clip. Then you have your start position, your rest position, your end position, in length, out length, in and out curves, and your out curves. In position is only gonna matter for angle. All right, so your start position is where the animation is gonna begin and end. Rest position is where your animation is gonna rest throughout most of the clip. So for instance, say we didn't want this logo to be completely invisible at the beginning of the animation. We can bring it up to, let's say there, and it will still animate, but it just starts at a different point. Same thing at the end, it'll animate back to the start position. We have in anim length, out anim length. So this is how long your animation is gonna take. It's set to frames. 24 is one second on a 24 frames per second timeline. It shouldn't matter what your frame rate is, you just have to convert it. So if you want one second on a 30 frame timeline, you pick 30 frames. So we can make this faster or shorter depending on the number we put in. It's a much faster animation. Below that, you get your in and out curves. So the first box is the first part of your curve. If you ever smoothed any key points in Fusion with the spline graph, you know what I'm talking about. You have a lot of different options. Sine, quad, cubic, elastic bounce. Now, not all of these look great together. Something you're gonna have to play with and figure out for yourself. But let me just demonstrate a little bit right here. Let's try bounce. You kind of get this overshoot, it bounces back. There you go, and now you got this like zoom. And you can control this for any of the animations. All right, let's try angle. By default, it's just gonna come up at 90. And you have all the same controls like we did in size and in spin but we have the end position here. So if I change this to a positive number, our logo now animates up, and at the end animation, it will continue to animate up. And then of course we have the glitch. I personally like to put a little fade here. I just think it makes it look a little bit better. Now let's go on to the highlight. So you can control what type of highlight you have. You It's basically a background node, but you can change it to a gradient, a four corner, a vertical, whatever you want to. And you have all the same controls of a background node. So let's change this to orange. And if we play this, you know, orange highlight. Now under the highlight tab, you can control the angle at which the highlight comes in. And you have the same control, start position, the curve, the length, etc. You can actually do this twice and have all the same controls also. So you can have two come through at the same time. We also have this control enable random highlight and kind of puts a shimmer on your highlight. If you go and enable glow, I think it does a pretty neat effect. And again, you can change it to any color you want to. Also make it a gradient or full corner. Really customize it 
any way you want to. And we have our last tab, effects. We have all your common effects. You can add a drop shadow. You have control over the strength, the angle, the distance, the blur, just like you would in Fusion. You also have rays. You can change and keyframe the position of the light rays. The decay, weight, exposure, and threshold. We also have glow. We have some extra controls down here, but you can completely customize how you want your glow to look. And finally, we have wobble. So this is gonna control movement on three different scales, size, angle, and center. And you can change the seed, the intensity, the speed. It's basically all customizable. And if you'll see, it just kinda hovers around, floats, adds some life to your animations. And of course, you can actually use this on other things besides just PNGs. And mix and match your animations for some really cool effects. But not just text, you can even use it on video clips. Like I said, if you're not ready to buy yet, we also have Easy Effects Lite to try out. Works basically the same way. You have your master controls, you can control your size, your position, pivot. Again, just like a transform node, we just have less controls. You can control the angle. Unfortunately, you can't have it animate in two different directions. And you can add a drop shadow, all from the edit page. All right, hopefully that explains everything. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully you're enjoying using EasyFX. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.